kind of going up a bit, those temperatures for us, but we are expecting that here in southeast Louisiana. It's typical to kind of feel that triple digit heat index. We actually have a cold front that's right on top of us right now. A cold now. front or a not so hot front? You know, to call that a cold front. <laughs> is such a stretch but it really is it's it every means, degree makes a difference though i you agree know. tomorrow afternoon may feel a little more comfortable than this afternoon because the humidity you, yes indeed we're tracking some showers right now on our live cameras and on wdsu first warning radar let you show exactly where those showers are they're moving very 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 slowly not really much thunder and lightning one lightning strike in the last 15 minutes and that includes our entire area that you're looking at right there here's a shower that's popped up Popped up right over Bell Chase, moving very, very slowly to the east, but no lightning strikes with that one. Big area of rain that looks like it's going to pass to the north of Grand Isle. We had a shower that developed right on top of beautiful Grand Isle about 10, 15 minutes ago or so. And then some more showers that, again, are just creeping very slowly from the west into the east. Our chance right now for rain officially at 30 percent. That means 70 percent of us should be dry this afternoon. But look at the temperatures, 79 in Galliano, 79 in Grand Isle. Rain cooled readings there. Everyone else close to 90 degrees now. Here's a look at your current conditions at Louis Armstrong International Airport. That 2.73 should be going down just a little bit by tomorrow afternoon thanks to this. A cold front? Yes, it is by definition, but it's very, very weak, bringing us some slightly drier air overnight tonight into tomorrow. A lot going on in the tropics, but nothing that we're monitoring for uh, development over the next 48 hours. Cloudiness in the Caribbean that extends actually from the Bahamas down into the central portion of the Caribbean right now. This is associated with an upper level trough and then actually four tropical waves in the intertropical convergence zone. But the hurricane center does not expect development from any of them. Here's your afternoon scattered showers, maybe in isolated thunderstorms through about 3, 3, 30, 4 o'clock or so. Once we get to dinner time, the showers should be wrapping up and then some slightly Slightly cooler and drier air moving in tomorrow morning. 71 in Bogalusa, 72 in Slidell. So yes, feeling just a touch more comfortable. Tomorrow afternoon, we could have a couple of showers, but they're mainly going to be real close to the coast on the south shore. Chance for rain tomorrow officially at 20%. Here's your better chance for rain. It comes in our extended forecast. We'll go from Friday into the weekend. Tropical wave that'll move from the Caribbean into the Gulf of Mexico bringing a better chance for rain to Florida. But then once we get to Sunday and Monday, there we go. Looks like things are going to be getting wetter for us. But again, a very disorganized tropical wave is the way it looks right now. Partly cloudy, hot and humid today, 30% chance for scattered showers. And yes, an isolated thunderstorm. Tonight, it's going to be muggy again, but on the North Shore, you'll be a degree or two cooler. Showers ending very quickly after dinner time, And then tomorrow, we'll put the chance for rain officially at 20% mainly for the south shore, partly cloudy, and it will be just a little less humid. Chance for rain down to 10% in the afternoon for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Saturday looking like the drier of the two weekend days. Our chance for rain going right now up to 50% on Sunday, and we could be bumping that up a little bit higher as we get closer. Sunday and Monday, both looking to be off and on somewhat wet for us. Again, thanks to that tropical wave. That's your WDSU first warning forecast.